Hello, my friends. Let's get started with today's tarot pick a card reading, which is why are they wrapped around your finger? This is a little Christmas special. So basically, it's just why do they like you? But wanted to name it something a uh, little festive. So that being said, just get yourself into a receptive mode if you need to know how to do that. Um, you can check out my video link down below as always, which is how to pick a card using your intuition. But once you're there, we have our group one, group two, and group three. Timestamps are provided below. I'll see you at your time. Hey, group one, we are going to get started with your pick a card tarot reading all about why are they wrapped around your finger? So we're going to place your cards and get started. We have Addict and a poet to get us going, as well as semi-sextile in reverse, Chiron in reverse, and Taurus, as well as the Three of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, the Knight of Wands, the Six of Wands, and the World. Okay. So right away, I feel like you're somebody that has some kind of just like status. I feel like you're someone that's noted in the community somehow. Um, you just, I feel for whatever reason, I feel like this person's wrapped around your finger a little bit, literally just because of who you are in the community. Like there's a lot of people that find you to be very successful, very worthwhile with Taurus energy here as well. Um, this person just thinks, I think that's a beautiful part of you is your public presence, your public persona, um, just how you are known to be. Maybe you're on social media, um, posting pretty pictures or something like that. Maybe you have this very like sensuous energy to you, um, that this person just like, oh my God, they adore it so much. They love it. Now, what's interesting here is with the addict energy and the three of swords, I feel like for some of you guys may, they might like like a dangerous part of you. Um, that seems kind of insatiable is what I want to say. Like there's a couple scenarios that this could be like, I don't know, this could be as if there were like a third party person and like, you know, there's that kind of dynamic, like cat, uh, like a cat and mouse type thing going on. Um, or if they just like someone who is not afraid to break some hearts, you know, there's some kind of like player element here that I also think they like about you. Like you're, you're a high status person and with high status or power, I mean, I, sh I should say with high status comes power. So that's kind of what I'm seeing with, with you, which is very interesting. Cause like I was kind of feeling, I feel like something about this, um, you might know that like you shouldn't allow perhaps this is someone who is like a boss or something like that but they're they're like wrapped around your finger I there's a lot of scenarios here where there's somebody of like status um or there's something about status where like you're known for being a certain way and perhaps consequently so is this person and like the coming together is very interesting this is giving me like Romeo and Juliet vibes where it's like two prestigious families um but they don't like they're not supposed to fuck with each other so like it's you know it's it's almost like a faded kind of connection is what it feels like because there are some obstacles in the way that I feel like make this relationship not <laughs> not for the faint heart is what I'm hearing. Yeah. Well, with addict here, I feel like this, like I said, there's an insatiable quality to you. Like this person feels the need to run back to you. Um, and honestly, to the point where I think they put themselves kind of in like sticky situations. I really am kind of picking up a third party vibe here. If that doesn't resonate for you, don't take it. But like you would know um, if that's kind of the dynamic of this relationship, because this is compromises integrity and honesty allows an addictive pa uh, pattern to have an authority over your inner spirit. Then the three of swords right here. Um, like I said, the wheel of fortune, it's kind of like taking that like <laughs> that risk. So I think they like you, though, because you take risk. And I feel like, like I said, there is kind of a player part of you um where I think you know maybe you're not afraid to like hurt other people or like I don't know or hurt yourself honestly like there's this like free and like fearless energy about you I feel like and you know honestly there's just this spunk too that I feel like this person is really like admires about you like you're the kind of person that breaks the rules if you feel like it's meant to be and I think that is like really poetic in their eyes they see that as being a really like valuable um a valuable trait honestly like like I said like I think and they know a lot of other people see this as a very valuable trait in you the way that you're able to just live life in a very high quality kind of way like your energy gives off that vibe and just what you present to the world shows that you kind of 
I don't know, you come from this energy of like, I'm going to get my fill in life. And I think this, this person really likes that. Honestly, there's this degree of like, this person doesn't settle, you know, we have, um, what's this card here? The semi sextile allowing. Yeah. Like, which is, you know, sees potentials and clarifies, gives hope to compensates with it being a reverse. I feel like you, you know, you know how to give people hope that like, didn't have hope before. Like I said, this is giving a vibe of people perhaps you know, this person specifically have also this insatiable energy about them, but it may come off as a more like unhopeful vibe or like just not having hope about things. Um, and then you come around and then they're like, Oh wait, Nope. I have hope now. I have feeling, um, I have feelings about this. And maybe that also arises some kind of like deep inner connection. Cause we have Chiron there in reverse. So actually I want to pull a card to like further clarify Chiron in reverse. Cause that is I think I'm gonna pull another astro card actually. Sorry, I got all my decks behind me and I'm like, hmm, which one which one's the best? Oh, we got two cards to clarify. So we have the sixth house in reverse and the square. Interesting. So I was gonna say there is like that healing energy to this dynamic. Um with it being reversed, so I feel like you may challenge the kind of like healing that they've already done or where they thought that they've already healed. Perhaps the way that you like go about this relationship dynamic challenges it even more like perhaps maybe this person thought that they weren't controlling anymore um or something like that and then all of a sudden you come around and they're like no this person is my possession you know what i mean like it's like oh my god i'm triggered but like in a way where it's like kind of hot you know like i kind of enjoy the tension i kind of enjoy feeling like i have to like work a little bit for this honestly i feel like this person feels like they um maybe haven't had to you know try a hard and in the past or something like that but now this is like a moment where they're being gifted something that feels really like I don't know I was gonna say intangible to them and I feel like that's kind of your elusive quality or like what I I mean what this poet energy says it says expresses soul insights in a symbolic language I feel like you like touch this person energetically um in a really unexplainable way where they're just like like I said they know that they have to kind of like change some things up or figure some things out um, before they're like really ready to fully have you. Cause I feel like there is kind of like a chaser runner dynamic that we see here, maybe a twin flame vibe, if you will. But <laughs> I mean, that makes sense too with the three of swords here. It's, there is this kind of like, I, I don't know, a degree of separation with the energy. And that's why somebody can keep running after you. And like, again, that insatiability is kind of part of this dynamic where this person, because there is some kind of blockages in the way, I should mention that too with the world here. That's very Saturn energy. We also have the Wheel of Fortune. So maybe this is like an Aquarius placement, like a uh, sinistry thing that you guys got going on, just knowing what we have going on right now in the stars. But this is a timeless rating. But as I'm saying this, I should say that just, I can see that vibe. But so I don't know. I feel like there is this like, um, this degree of like awakening though, because that's also very Aquarian energy that I was picking up on where you just like, you run into a wall or you realize that the distance um, that keeps you kind of on these like separate paths, but like still being able to like connect with each other and see each other and come together at times. Like it's very motivational, I feel like. And this relationship really takes on that dynamic of being so insatiable, you know, on uh, many, many levels. I mean, this person is very attracted to you to the point where they're like, I can't get enough. Like you are like a drug to me. <laughs> like I'm, I'm just really, really picking up this vibe. There's an intensity, but like also this degree of like, I have to like surrender to something here um, and work on myself and like work to like basically be on the same kind of level. We have the Knight of Wands here. Um, here, let me put these under here. We have the Knight of Wands here. So I just thought that was interesting because it's coming out in reverse, which gives more of that like player like energy. Um, but I feel like this person is kind of like reworking that in this dynamic to be more like, like I said, like working towards something, finding more success in this player like energy. So instead of like, you know, when they're running away or chasing it, there's like a deeper purpose to it basically is what they're kind of understanding through this dynamic so I feel like on a spiritual level that's probably what keeps them so intertwined in this dynamic they feel really like there's something meant for them here um something very spiritual and very like good for their reputation if we're being frank like it's an inner and outer world thing that really 
they can see it on both ends, I feel like, with you, whether it's a very personal thing, but also just a really, like, status-oriented thing. Like, both ends of the spectrum you meet, and I think that duality is really hot to this person. They really, really enjoy that about you. But let's pull some more cards for you guys to verify this message a little bit deeper. So why does group one person, why are they wrapped around their finger? Why does group one's person wrapped around their finger? Oop. Oop. Hello. All right, we have demons. Interesting. <laughs> Very interesting that kind of gives me that drug energy though like the demons or the drug like something that like it's all consuming <laughs> like but at the same time it's like kind of scary you're like whoa like that's you're giving me a lot more than what I was expecting but <laughs> I can't I can't seem to get away from it is kind of the vibe here okay we have a lot that just came out so we have clothes in reverse so again I think they like the way that you might change up their image this is a very like sad rising or I mean, honestly, if you have a mutable rising sign, um, that would give you a mutable descendant. And that's very much this energy of like being able to try Like when you try on different people or different like relationships, basically, it makes you try on like this whole different image of yourself and stuff like that. So I feel like this person kind of likes that. Like I said, like this demon, um, energy, I'm going to clarify that actually with the astral card. We have the sun. Yeah. So I feel like this, like I said, this person likes being in kind of dangerous situations where they feel pressurized and where they feel like they have to kind of like, I don't know. They have to like, like I said, at times come up from air from it because it's so entrenching or something like that. And maybe, you know, that's part of the image that they like here is they like this like really intense energy that you bring to the table. <laughs> if anything, like, I'm kind of seeing this is like the image of what you guys would like be or what you are to them, you know, and this is very like wrapped around your finger. I mean, maybe you guys can't see this in a positive light, but I can see it in a positive light more so of like someone, you know, b backing you up essentially or something like that. I'm, I'm thinking more so of like the shadow and like Peter Pan, you know, where it's like little, it's like an accent almost. I feel like you're an accent to this person and that's why they enjoy you. Now we also have animals. So there is, like I said, a very primal element. This person thinks you're super hot, sexy. Like they, they really like, like your fire, your spunk in the way that you ignite their fire and spunk. And like I said, there's a risk taking element to this too. Um, and again, we have being chased. So that runner chaser dynamic, like that's so hot to them. I think it's just the idea that like somebody wants them and maybe like, I don't know. You give them a, you give the impression of like um of multiple people. Like your status or the weight that you have in the community or just just the kind of like social regard you have feels like you know, if this one person wants me, it feels like a whole mob wants me kind of vibe. It's it's like the weight of you is different versus like if they had like eight other girls chasing after them, like that's the equivalent to your energy. If you know what I mean? Like it's very, very technical for this person. I feel like the way that they feel about you, where it's like just an energetic attunement to you that really like hits differently that they just like can't explain. They really enjoy that though, because it brings them this sense of like, I don't know, like vitality really with the sun being here. Vi it's a dangerous vitality though. Like we can't, we can't forget that because there is this like shadow element to the pairing, you know, where it's like a little shadow on your shoulder being like, Hey, you gonna, you know, be stronger. Are you going to be this like feisty, ferocious person that, you know, you want to be. Um, and that's kind of like challenging them to like have a different image of themselves too. So yep. And then we have by finding something valuable. And then we also have technology, which I thought was funny. I literally just said it was a very, like, this person's very technical. And they find you, I think, to be very technical. The way that you handle things is very technical. And they think it's, like, I, really hot, honestly. I think they, I just can't stop saying, like, they just think it's really hot. This person finds you, like, oozing with sex appeal in the most, like, quirky ways, I feel like, where it's, like, I don't know, you, you send them off on, like, this tangent where they have to, like, they just have to expand on things that they thought that they were, like, good on. Like I said, like, there's this, like, weirdness to your energy to them, <laughs> I feel like, where um, maybe that's what takes them on this running chaser dynamic kind of thing where they're like, okay, like, I need to cope with this because this gave me, like, anxiety or something. Like, 
it's cute uh, though honestly like there is this dynamic of like cuteness to you guys um even though there is this like cat and mouse thing going on but I don't know I feel like they like that though they really like the complexity of this dynamic and maybe you know like I said that involves third parties that involves this runner chaser thing or like we're feeling like you might never be able to have each other but for whatever reason you know there's there's something that grounds you guys that brings you back together over and over and over again for whatever reason like I feel like this person feels comfortable to kind of like move around in this relationship um and I feel like to be more free than what they've ever been in relationships before and that you know maybe maybe challenging them to be a different person like I said but they they like that they enjoy where that takes them and where they can kind of see themselves going with this relationship dynamic um maybe a lot of this is just this imagined idea of like you know, how they can like conquer, how they seem, or how they can like conquer their demons. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. And like how that will change their image of self. And that is very much tied to you. <laughs> like they really, really see that being tied to your energy. Um, just, I think because of your own fearlessness, of your own way of being like, well, this is what I want. So I'm going to go, I'm going to go after it um, until I find exactly what I'm looking for. Yeah, with the shepherd here. So you know, group one, I feel like your person is very, very wrapped around your finger. Um, and just maybe this dynamic explains that, you know, the fact that they're still here, perhaps after everything, um, you know, and everything can be a lot of different things. But again, we have the rider here. So there's a big player energy here. So maybe this person or you are both kind of big players. So the fact that you guys are still like committed to each other and still no matter what kind of come back around, like, it speaks for itself is what I'm going to say here. It really does. The complexity of it kind of shows this like commitment despite the evasiveness, you know, and despite how much everything else they like don't want to like, you know, have a responsibility to for whatever reason, you're, you're part of a bigger message to them and they recognize that and their soul recognizes that. So hella twin flame vibes not gonna lie but <laughs> thank you so much group one for watching this video if you liked this video please give it a thumbs up and of course subscribe to my channel for more intuitively channeled messages like so um comment below how this resonated for you if it did of course and if you are interested in booking a personal reading with me you can check out the link below to my instagram or you can email me um so yeah just check that information out below but otherwise i'm gonna skedaddle and i hope to see you guys in a later video Hey group two, let's get started with your tarot pick a card reading all about why are they wrapped around your finger? So why do they like you basically? <laughs> We're going to dive into this though. So we have mother to get us started and mentor. Oh, and you guys got an extra archetype card and liberator. Actually, I think you guys got extra cards for astro as well. So we'll get into it. We have Sagittarius, First House, Mercury in Reverse, and the North Node. All right, and last but not least, we have our uh, Tarot cards, Ten of Swords, Two of Pentacles in Reverse, Seven of Wands Upright, Queen of Swords, and the Queen of Pentacles. Ooh, woo. okay, wow. This person really likes the way you seem to put things into, into perspective in a way that's very much like, I don't know, there's a motherly element here for sure, but in a more like, cut your shit, like I'm telling you what it is right now kind of mother, you know what I mean? Like, there's a very much no bullshit approach to you that this person really enjoys and perhaps the way that you just present yourself so like seamlessly so flawlessly like you are the shit to this person I feel like and there's a few a few reasons why but mainly because you teach them how to like really take care of business and take care of business in a way that doesn't ne neglect things if anything you're very like I don't know you're it's it gives me cancer mars energy where you're you're working to like nurture a problem but it's in a real feisty way or like an Aries moon vibe something like that you know there's this like really passionate drive to nurture and to take care of things and take care of business and despite I think whatever you have going on you seem to push through and maybe the fact that you always seem to push through is really nice to this person you could be a mother 
obviously that's for some of you <laughs> if it's not don't take it but there's a motherly quality to you um in a way where i think you like i said you know how to take care of business but it's not so much limiting i think to anybody else if anything i think you help people feel more unlimited and feel more capable of things there's a lot of like personal assessment i think you offer people um but in a really like realistic realistically like improving way i want to say which is funny because i feel like you know you give them like these grand like pushes or something like that where you can say hey this is how you like handle a situation um but you know it's they are able to t kind of like take it practically i don't know if for example you're not the type of person that's like oh like cheer up like just smile you'll feel better or something like that you're more so like yeah i know life sucks but like we got to deal with it we got to roll with the punches so let's go kind of thing like that's the difference of energy here where you're definitely more of the latter where you you have a spunk to you i think a very motherly spunk um so yeah that's really nice off the top with mentor and liberator and sagittarius that really does give this like i'm gonna conquer kind of attitude but you know, also with the seven of wands in the first house. I mean, you, you aren't someone who you're not overbearing. If anything, I think you just know when it's appropriate to fight and when it's appropriate for you to just kind of stand your ground where you're at and handle, handle business. You know what I mean? Like there's a good discerning factor to you. Um, that might be a little different than what they've seen before. I feel like with Mercury in reverse. So I just have to note that this seems like I don't know, you say things that are just very different to this person, especially with the Ten of Swords here. This is like me, in my eyes, it's like them listening to you or like reading something you said. Like they look at what you say and they're just like, what? <laughs> like, you know, they it sends them for a loop. It maybe makes them realize where they could be handling things differently um, with this Two of Pentacles here specifically. But I don't know, There's there's like this element of like destiny that you kind of, represent to this person where you are like so in your in your element and in this like positive uplifted kind of space where you're handling things even despite like the weight of what you're handling you still handle it like a boss I feel like there's just so much to appreciate about you and I feel like this person is amongst many people that like see you as someone who is really like just a positive light in life in general and like I said, takes care of business that keeps coming up. You take care of business. You pull people up by their bootstraps and tell them like, we're going somewhere. We got things to do. And it's in the most loving way, but in a way that also shows people like, you know, you, you got to work basically. You got to like put your effort into things and you got to try your best. And it's, it's very like confident, divine feminine type energy that this person kind of sees you as and sees you as being um to other people so that's really beautiful honestly guys i really like that for you so let's pull some more cards to deepen this message a little bit there does seem to be this element too of like being <laughs> i think kind of like catty or snarky at times that this person likes i don't know i feel like you can defend yourself in a way that's kind of clever where it's just like okay i can tell you we're sitting on that for a minute i can tell that you were you know you thought about this there's a deep personal element to that and maybe you know maybe that sounds bad i don't know but <laughs> i feel like they, they like it they like your spark your spunk the way that you uh communicate things yeah we have a cell phone in reverse i was gonna say there's a lot to do with i think this person watching you online um maybe seeing you like clap back at people online maybe you're someone who like shares a facebook post or like somebody else's post um and you're like actually <laughs> you know what i mean you're one of those people and i i totally relate i can't even say one of those people like it's not me you know i'm one of those people so <laughs> it's just it's this vibe of like you know listen that we're on a community forum basically and I'm going to tell you my opinion and you know damn well how to do it in a way that I think makes people be like damn okay I get it I feel that I love that honestly I feel like you guys are you're the fun people on the internet is what I feel like like you handle things in a way where it's like damn this is not this person's just not a force to be reckoned with they're funny they're lighthearted. they got like a good good energy to them um but they still you know they're they're not shallow i feel like there's a depth to you that like i said shows that you know how to take care of business and help people nurture people um and care about things just really care about things in a way that's like not 
superficial or anything like that. Like you have a really different kind of opinion, I feel like. Yeah, we have musical instruments here. So some, I mean, there's just something about your, your certain kind of expression that is different to this person. They see it as being, I think, more liberated or more like wise. I, I think you just kind of think differently than what they've seen. And maybe you think differently than like how their mother was or something like that. Um, you know, you provide them like this different element of like what a f like feminine energy can be. And they really appreciate that about you. Yeah, we have sex here as well. So there's a merging energy to you of like, like I said, really like spontaneous, funky energy with like more down to earth, like, okay, we need to like handle things kind of energy. And with sex, you know, they might also just really like your sex. They really like, you know, I mean, that energy combines really well in bed. So I get that. It's like being able to not only, you know, I want to say like take it, but also like give it to people, be the one to like, you know, find the good balance and flow. And this could be, like I said, really physical and like really sexual, or it could be like just how you handle life. Um, there's a very energetic balance to you where it's like I'm gonna give and take um where I like feel like it's gonna go this for whatever reason is giving me like a very like I, okay this made me think of like electronic music and for example electronic music is literally just made by people like sitting in front of a keyboard and be like this sounds good this sounds good together and like you know it's going with the flow vibe and like finding the beat within it so maybe that's very much how you are <laughs> like again i said in a very sexual way sometimes or it's just how you flow through life but either way this person very much enjoys that about you finds that to be so sexy so alluring and just honestly life-changing to them we have the apocalypse so you give this like new impression to them of like okay you know what i want to live my day-to-day -day life in a different way i want to experience um you know love in, in my uh my own reality in a different way i feel like and that's really exciting to them i feel like as well you're just really exciting honestly you give this very like exuberant energy to you we have water here so it's funny how the contrast is like very like we're sparky but we're also like very watery and go with the flow so maybe you have a lot of like fire and water dynamics in your chart or like the queen of swords and pentacles you like earth and air like you could just have this really mellow dynamic about you where it's not overbearing on either end you just kind of find a way to handle things and handle them in a way that's exciting to other people you know it's not like you're predictable by any means I think you you actually have a lot of creativity that's pouring out of you at all times but this person you know I don't know they feel they feel youthful in your presence I feel like you give them this vitality um or a certain kind of like charisma just extends off of you that they're like yeah <laughs> i and i feel that too because it's like nurturance patience and unconditional love joy and giving birth to life and i did see um birth a couple times when i was shuffling so you guys have a lot of creativity you give a lot of like life force to things like i said this can be very creative where you've actually maybe this is like your partner you're asking about or like the other parent of your child or something like that and they really see you as like the perfect birth giver you know what I mean like you're just the perfect match the perfect partner the perfect person to create things with mainly whether that's children or whether that's just like painting a house or building a house or like hanging out together and just you know creating a conversation that lasts in each other's memories like there's something about you that really stands out as being something that's gonna be like memorable that you're gonna want to look back on and something that it, kind of, it reminds them of home in a way, you know, this, like I said, this very like cancer placement energy as well. That's coming out here. So we have the mice, mouse coming out. Let's see what else we got going on. Ooh. The Joker energy. Ooh. Flying them all around. The Amoir and the Broken last in reverse let's pull one more okay so this is kind of an interesting message i feel like this person may have experienced an interesting mother figure or something like that um where they might have felt felt like left out by their mother figure or perhaps the conclusions that their mother figure made were just not something that made them feel super loved whereas i feel like the way that you act 
is kind of the opposite where I feel like you kind of like hit this person in a very Cupid like way with an arrow. Like I said, in a kind of a feisty way where it's like, I love you. You're great. Do it. Do your best. And it's very inspiring to them. They've never really dealt with that. So to see somebody who kind of changes their past and changes, you know, this once mama like like mama bear like figure I should say in their life that was maybe like I don't know less motherling and more like what this says here it says smothering or abandoning children instilling guilt in children for becoming independent maybe that's more of what they dealt with in the past and you are just you're not like that there is this degree of like liberation to you like I said that this person enjoys about you they see you as someone who who can mother them in the right way and maybe this is not you know 100 percent what you're looking for is to be this person's mama but like they see you as someone who can really give them i think some clarity and depth into this mother wound that they might have which is not maybe what they set out to figure out necessarily but that's why they're attracted to you that's why you're wrapped around or they're wrapped around your finger i should say you know, they see that you handle things, this duality of being, you know, the homemaker and the, you know, the, the fun, loving, like inspirational woman energy. Like you have that good duality to you in a way that like doesn't threaten them or make them feel, um, I don't know, like left out or misunderstood. There's just this degree of feeling left out or misunderstood with this energy. I want to kind of understand a little bit more. So let's pull some more cards actually we'll pull some astro cards for you guys mm -mm -mm. Ooh, that was a flyer okay the ninth house you know that's synonymous with the uh sagittarius energy and this is making me think of like long distance types of things so maybe you're you know maybe there is this degree of like distance that this person has experienced from uh love you know like they saw it more as like something that was going to redeem them at one point um so perhaps that's kind of what you've been to them you've been this redeeming answer and yeah we have the fifth house as well so i feel like just the way that you've kind of touched their heart and touched this like inner child part of them and shown them that like you know true love exists or something like that as cliche as it sounds like it wakes them up it shows them that there's something here um for them that they you know may have once thought was gone or not not for them with the virgo energy and also the broken mirror i feel like this person does look back at their past a lot and compare it to now and see how lucky they are and see that they are like you know really being given something that they lacked and that they didn't they, they felt that they weren't ever going to be able to get you know it's it's this very like out of reach type energy that this person experiences and you know you've changed that for them you've shown them that things that were once out of reach are actually just something you know you have to work for at times and you have to like align yourself with at times I feel like so there's this like soul lesson to you um and about the way that you've kind of balanced the scales for this person but also balanced it for yourself really like you you yourself are balanced and thus it flows out of you in a way where you you know help other people um find this balance in themselves between a more like motherly safe you know secure energy and one that can go out and about and discover new things and find new levels of um maybe comfort honestly i feel like you you change this person's comfort zone a little bit and they like that that dynamic for you guys because it brings out like i said more of their inner child um, and it answers their needs too in a way that's like just really fun to this person I feel like it makes them feel really happy to have someone like you in their life someone who is able to I think defend things that they they personally believe to be valuable and worth defending um, perhaps this is this more like internal energy that I'm kind of seeing where it's like this internal fire or flame to like be able to move on and be who you feel like you need to be but still get the kind of love that you you know deserve honestly like I don't know there's a great duality this person sees in you with that so group two I hope this message resonated for you guys and if it did make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and of course subscribe to my channel for more intuitively channeled messages 
like so. Um, if you would like to book a personal reading with me, make sure you check out the link below to my Instagram. Make sure it's not any scammers or anything. They all out there. But <laughs> um, you can also email me, which is linked down below as well. Well, linked down below. It's written down below. Anyways, check out the description box. <laughs> um, otherwise, I hope to see you guys in a later video. Peace. Hey group three, let's get started with your tarot pick a card reading all about why are they wrapped around your finger? So why do they like you? Let's dive in. We have Don Juan and Messiah to get us started as well as Gemini in reverse, Neptune in reverse, and conjunction. We have the Ace of Wands in reverse, Knight of Swords upright. Eight of Swords, Five of Wands in reverse, and the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. All right, so a couple messages are coming out right away. So I feel like, for one, this relationship dynamic provides them with a good sense of stability. And it's more of like a rooted stability where they know where to come home to, but they also know that they have the freedom to go out and kind of like experience things on the side, if that makes sense. Now, obviously take that as it resonates for you, but I mean more so like, this is the kind of relationship or something of that nature where you guys, you know, when you're together, you provide each other with almost the spark to be more of like seductive. It's kind of reverse, honestly. It gives me this impression of like someone who doesn't feel super confident um, or like flirty or anything like that, like as a single person, but when they get into a relationship, then they're like, you know, swooning over their like significant other. Like, you know, they're treating them like they're just trying to like pick them up at a bar or something like that. Like, that's kind of what I'm getting here is there is this like interesting attraction to you um, where maybe they still, they're like trying to court you or something like that still, even though you're in a relationship, you know, they're opening the door for you still, or they're, they're doing little affections or something like that to be like, hey, like, <laughs> just so you know. I feel like with uh, Gemini and Neptune, there is also this degree of like, just, there's this funniness, I think, um, about maybe how they're perceiving you, where I think you are a very kind person, but you also like to joke around. You also like to like have fun with people and with things. Maybe the way you have fun is by being a really compassionate person. Maybe you just love to play with kids or you like to do I don't know, you like to do non-competitive things. Like, you're, you're a prankster, but not in a way where it's going to, like, make anybody feel bad. There is this degree of, like I said, safety to your energy that this person really seems to enjoy. Um, and perhaps, like, it's like one of those things where they feel more empowered together. Like, you are better as a unit, and you can be maybe better individuals once you're together if that makes sense like there is this like unity energy that i'm seeing here with this conjunction and again the five of wands is giving this impression that like you don't make this person feel like they need to compete for your energy like they know that they have it and it's just a matter of like them kind of having fun um and figuring out other ways to like get joy or like reach this level of like satisfaction I feel like with you like I don't know it's like we're it's like an agreement that like we're a team and we're gonna like go out in the world and figure out um other ways to like I don't know expand our lives and this could be in a very like humble humanitarian like way where maybe you guys like to go out and do uh like <laughs> community service work together or something like that or like you do community both of you guys work in like the community or something like that and you're both feeling like really you know happy that that's like where you are at in the world together if that makes sense even if you do things apart like you're happy that you both go out into the world together and try to find a deeper level of compassion through your acts of service or something like that and then you get to come back home together and like talk about like you know, those, those experiences, like something about like this more like non-competitive nature about you guys makes you both feel very safe. I actually want to pull more cards on that because this is intriguing me now. <laughs> like I have the words for it, but I also don't. Yeah, we have the seven of cups here. So, you know, with this, like I was saying, like, I feel like there's no confusion about you know the love in the relationship like you guys are really into each other um and that's clear so it's a matter of like maybe i don't know you guys build a fantasy around what's already built you know this is the kind of couple that gets together and feels like 
no matter how much time has passed, like I said, that they're still in like this kind of honeymoon phase just by the way that they like, you know, put in the effort to make things more of this like illusionary, like maybe more illicit feeling type vibe. Like there is this degree of deception here that you always see with like the seven of cups and even with Neptune. So maybe there's just a degree of fantasy that you guys like to put into this relationship. Um, and they just find that so hot. They love it. They love it. They love it. Um, this Don Juan thing is like, maybe you're still just always trying to seduce them, especially with the ace of wands in reverse. I feel like there's this degree of like, maybe even when you're not trying, like there's a way of that you just do it. Like, again, maybe this is related to like going out and being like helpful people. Like maybe that's really hot to them and they really enjoy that. So like, it's kind of like a weird turn on, but like, it's still a turn on. They still see you as being, um, you know, someone that I feel like they would like to like, I keep hearing like court and pick up, you know, like they want to do the little things to like hook you basically. So we have judgment as well as Queen of Cups here. So I gotta say, maybe at one point there was a lot of uncertainty in both of your guys' lives about your own, like, sex appeal. Like, maybe you guys didn't... And, like, I say you guys because it could just be either party or both parties, but maybe there was just... Both of you guys at different points maybe just didn't think that you were, like, the hottest pick. Maybe it was, like... I don't know. This is kind of giving me, like, beauty standard itch issues or something like that. Like, maybe you guys aren't, like the conventional beauty or something like that or that's how you feel um and maybe like I said that's how you both have felt at different times in your life and that's really gotten you down but you guys are like each other's ideals so it's been super healing to have that kind of judgment you know where somebody sees something that maybe you would think as like flawed in the eyes of like a beauty standard but they see it as beautiful you know for whatever reason this is making me think of somebody who like finally decided like you know I'm not gonna like shave my armpits anymore like it I just don't want to like whatever and then you know their boyfriend or something like that is like yeah like you're beautiful however you are you know what I mean like it's one of those kinds of dynamics where it's like you're helping me change how I feel about myself and how I feel about the way that I'm allowed to be in this world and you know what's glamorized what's hot what's sexy you know like it's changing that around you know it's giving me the vibes of like stretch marks or sexy you're like uh you know like cellulite sexy like those types of things you know where it's you know and even if it's it's just it depends on what your situation is obviously like if none of that resonates and you're like a model like it's you know whatever it is they're giving you compliments in it they're seeing you or comp <laughs> they're giving you compliments in it i should say but they're giving you confidence in maybe something that is more untraditional perhaps about your body or your style or the way you talk or interact with people i mean there's a lot of different scenarios here but i feel like you just glamorize things that you know, make, make them feel confident too in themselves, confident to be different, confident to kind of play with the image of self that they have towards themselves as well. Like there is this like, just a very healing element, I feel like to this relationship. Ooh. Okay, so we have the four of cups as well as the Hierophant reverse. So yeah, I mean, this person I feel like has felt really passed over at different points in their life. And I feel like you are helping them change this belief in themselves um, and making them see perhaps the potential of who they are and like the also the potential of what they believe too. I think you're showing them that there's things that you can like reap out of um, your differences with other people and they like that honestly. There's this like encouragement that I feel with this energy where they, they know that things can manifest with you guys, um, but they realize it's like untraditional. They realize that there's something about this that is gonna make them a different person. And for whatever reason, that keeps them kind of like inclined to like stick around. And I don't know, I'm having a lot of, um, I'm like thinking a lot of thoughts about like marriage and stuff like that, or like, you know, questioning like how you wanna handle it and stuff like that. So perhaps this could be like trying to manifest a different kind of relationship dynamic or one that has just more I don't know like it, it changes the 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 weight of different roles in the relationship too I feel like because like I said you guys part of this relationship challenges a certain kind of standard so it could also be like gender roles or something like that in a relationship where I feel like this person feels 
empowered to like change things around or maybe not feel the weight um of you know of their gender role or something like that i know that's like kind of out there but i feel like those kinds of things can be really empowering like if we think about what makes a long-term relationship it is aligned values and beliefs and stuff like that and i feel like there's a very like different approach that you have to this that this person is just like whoa <laughs> like this is so hot this is so cool this is so enlightening to my energy um and like i said it's freeing it makes them feel like they're unlimited even though they're in commitments if that makes sense let's pull you guys some more cards to see what else we can deepen this message with so group three this person why are they wrapped around their finger why is group three's person wrapped around their finger Oop, yellow. All right. <laughs> so we have superpower whoop, and trees, gardens, as well as secret or unfamiliar room, and then actress or celebrity, or actor or celebrity. So this it's funny you you come off as just like i said a different person but maybe because you show that this person can also be a different person like i think there's just a difference in your energies that play with each other really well like there's good there's good back and forth here with your energies that bring some kind of enlightenment to the kind of people that you actually want to be and i think you guys just i don't know like it says here spotlights your uh, positive seductive qualities I feel like you guys highlight each other's positive seductive qualities and you show each other that there is this like option to be this person that you maybe were unsure about being or something like that like I don't know you guys just play into it a lot like I said there's almost like this like role play energy maybe you guys quite literally role play and that's why they like you but <laughs> I mean there's also like I was saying there's this degree of like just feeling that you you can help them like change their role and perhaps the way that you change your role and you redefine yourself and you kind of find like new quirky ends to I don't know situations and stuff like that I feel like you're kind of like really keen and like getting on the in in the in crowd or something in the know something like that I don't know you have a way of like finding your way into like good situations and I feel like this person is just kind of like following your lead in a lot of ways where they're like all right well I see that this is a gift of this person and I'm going to just you know trust and see where it takes me kind of thing and I feel like that has taken them really out of their shell you know they're becoming more of like a sexual being somebody that's more like free to express their truth or you know I feel like they want to like be someone that like puts out a story and like shows what kind of like you know life they're living but in a way where it like glamorizes their truth or something like that and you you help that be a thing I feel like we have the fish here yeah there's something about you that like this person they can't pin down you're always moving around you're you're a very social person too here with the park let's keep going rose Oop. Oops, snake and bouquet. So yeah, you're a very like social person. I feel like, like I was saying, you're hard to pin down very much on a social level, but also in this way where like, like I said, like they know that they can trust you. They know that they can count on you and that you're what they're gonna come back to. Like there's certain boundaries to you that they're like, yeah, like, you know, it's it's just the security of like, I got this person really. Like I got them um, 10 times over is what I'm kind of getting here. And it's it's funny because I'm thinking of, like, someone who will see you out in public and, like, give you a rose, you know, and act, like I said, in this courting manner just for you to come back home and, like, put that rose into the bouquet of all the other roses that they did doing that same kind of thing. Like, this person really likes to tempt you and perhaps likes how you tempt them to be more of this, like, Casanova-like person. Casanova is a perfect word for, I think, your impact on this person. Like, you make them want to be more of a Casanova. Um, but to you, specifically, because they see you as, like, this, like, I want to say, like, godlike person, but honestly, that's probably not healthy to <laughs> say that. But, you know, it's more so, like, I don't know, just as the the right one for them, you know, they you you kind of cloud their vision a little bit of who they are um, and make them take on this like, I don't know, different, different level of appearing in the world um, in their eyes when they connect with you and stuff like that. So it, like I said, if they are like, 
I don't know if they're if they like <laughs> are seeking to have a relationship dynamic with you um or you guys are in a relationship dynamic oh my god yeah you guys probably already in it because we have the house come out so um I was gonna say I just feel like you know play into that more as kind of a advice with this honestly is like let each other be you know almost like single within the relationship not necessarily on like a level of like you know doing things with other people or anything but like more so be your own people in the most like crazy and quirky ways I feel like because that is like what they love about you is just that there's so much freedom within this commitment there's so much room for them to like be who they want to be and to find that out too and to like look into um perhaps situations and see that they are a prize to be won too like there's I don't know there's a degree of like them always feeling like you're choosing them that makes them feel like really confident um in that you know it's it's with the actor card here kind of gives me the vibe of somebody who is like always chosen for roles or like someone who literally had a script wrote around them you know it makes me think of like in Hannah Montana how Miley's character like Miley Stewart in that show or whatever wasn't her name wasn't Miley but because Miley Cyrus fit the role so well they literally named her Miley like that's the vibe here where it's like you're giving this person the like a-okay to like I don't know be like obsessed with somebody but also like be obsessed with themselves like find um an outlet or some kind of an in through another person if that makes sense and I feel like this is not in a bad way necessarily I feel like this person like I said just is tempted by your own um you know luxury and just the way that you're able to like find luxury in different situations and find the more glamorized approach or I don't know just like the overall like benefit of a situation like you have a good way of pronouncing that and letting it be known so this person is just in love with you for that honestly they see you as someone that is really much for them and you continue you know as you continue to change and as you invite them to change they see that more and more that like you guys are just you're just for each other and it's just and it's very like fun to them I think it makes them feel like I said super sexy super confident um that they're like safe to be all of these different kinds of people um and explore that with you so group three i hope this message resonated and if it did make sure you give this video a thumbs up and of course subscribe to my channel for more intuitively channeled messages like so if you want to book a personal reading with me of course check out the link below to my instagram or you can email me which is also down below so otherwise i'm gonna skedaddle and i will see you guys in a later video peace